When we started scanning the internet in 2015, we were able to provide a lot of value by scanning ports with their most commonly used protocol. For example, we were sent port 22 and SSH scanner. But this missed all of the other services that could have been running on port 22. And those non-standard port, port protocol combinations were often some of the most interesting and most overlooked services. Our new scanner accounts for the complexity that any service could be running on any port at any time. This is nice because now users can see more services and thanks to our new query syntax, you can also more succinctly query for service attributes regardless of the port that they're running on. Let's look at an example. Uh, in the first generation search, which you're seeing here, if you were looking uh, for hosts presenting a 500 HTTP status code, it involved enumerating each port that we sent an HTTP scanner to. So let's look at what that presented. In the new search, this multi line query can turn into one line by saying services. Hopefully that makes some of your queries easier as you're searching across our internet data set, but you can also see by the results returned that in 2.0, we're seeing services that the first generation search wasn't catching. The other cool thing about census search 2.0 is that you can be more specific and say things like, show me all hosts running SSH, but not on port 22 or 2222, for example. And that can be done with a query like this. The same service operator does exactly what it says. It refines your search to attributes that are on the same service. And you can always find more documentation about that in the docs here. Uh, with Search 2.0, more than 66% of our scan results come from unexpected services and non-standard ports. This new syntax allows you to query for those attributes easily and find the services that you're looking for.